What's up guys, it's your boy Four here on Team One Glistener Health's channel sh showcasing my budget red green energy. Now I'm still missing a few cards of the deck such as four copies of Aether's Hub, um, the side deck, and a few other cards in the main deck. I believe I'm going to be getting Blossoming Defense, but this is a $30 to $40 budget build, super super good. But before I start, I want to say thank you so much Team One Glistener Health for allowing me to go onto your channel once more. Before I showcase my green, white, black Abzan, Ally Abzan build, which was uh, five, six months ago. And now I have my budget uh, red, green energy. I want to say it's more consistent than my clues and my Abzan. This is super, super consistent. Really good for beating your opponent in turn from turns three to six. Like, it's really, really good. Um, once again, I want to say thank you so much to you all for allowing me to be on your channel. Please subscribe to him first and like and comment all his videos. He's an amazing YouTuber and also come to my channel and like and subscribe for uh, content such as Super Smash Brothers 4 and Melee, MTG and Carfight Vanguard and Let's Play videos. So let's get started. So for the creatures, for the greens, we run for Lantus Cub. So this is like Tyler's Tracker Jr. And we actually run like a Tyler's Tracker in the deck even though we don't, it's really close to it. So I call it Tireless Tracker Jr. because it's a 2-drop, two 2-2, two, two. amazing, um, amazing for a 2-drop for a 2-2, two, two. it's really good. So what it is, is whenever this deals combat damage, you get 2 energy, and you pay 2 energy, and then you get a plus 1 plus 1 counter on this card. Like Tireless Tracker, uh, when you sack a clue, and it takes 2 mana to sack a clue, you put a 1-1 one -one counter, so that's why I call it Tireless Tracker Jr. This is your main win condition because um, you want to keep buffing this guy up with your pump up spells and keep paying energy to put him higher and higher and by at least turn 4 or 5 with the pump up spells and the amount of energy you're paying you should be able to win game sometimes you'll play uh, longer games which this deck isn't the best at like for stalled out games so if you're going against controls your main goal is just to just kill your opponent as fast as you can so you want to do that before turn 8 or 9 because once you go to those turns that's when it's kind of shaky because the deck starts running out of its um, uh, pump up spells and then for the next of our creatures, we run 3 Servant of the Conduit. So this is a really good card to draft for 2-2, two -two, just like uh, Lantos Cub. Its effect says, um, whenever this card enters the battlefield, you get 2 energy. So right off the bat, if you have a Lantos Cub, you get 2 energy, you can automatically pay for the plus 1 plus 1. And this card is really good as well, because as you tap, and you pay your energy, and you add one of any color to your mana pool, really really useful for using your pump up spells and stuff. And just for paying one energy, it really doesn't matter because you get a lot of energy from this deck, from your creatures, and some from your, uh, I believe, some instance created. Um, I'm still a little shaky about this deck because I just got it two days ago, but playtesting it against my friends, super, super consistent. Then, now for the actual tireless tracker of the deck, you run three copies of Architects of the Untamed. It's a three job, uh, two, three, almost a tireless tracker, except tireless tracker is a three, two, which you know, this card is still super broken. So what it is, is whenever I land the battlefield, you get one energy. And you may, th you may be thinking, one energy, it doesn't matter. When actually, that one energy you get from the land, from the, uh, from the land drop, it's super, super important because you're getting a bunch of energy and you really want to be spending that energy on bringing the Lantos Cub as high as you can and maybe sometimes using Servant the Conduit's effect. So, the bottom effect says, pay 8, create a 6-6 six, six colorless beast artifact creature token. And put onto the battlefield so there's a small combo you could do with that effect which takes two turns but i mean it's a fun combo and if you can do it sometimes you need to but it's not the most optimal combo but this card is just super broken gets a lot of energy on the field especially you can do combos with it like evolving wild so put the evolving wilds land enters one energy sack bring a basic another energy two energy you know like small combos like that are super broken and now for the last of our creatures, we run 4 Voltanic Brawler. Now, this card is really good for a red and a green. It's a 3-2. So for a 2-drop, 3-2 is really, really good. And this uh, effect says whenever this card enters the battlefield, 2 energy. Just like um, Serving of the Conduit. Really, really good for just bringing out a bunch of energy. And the best part about this card is it says whenever this attacks, you may pay an energy. If you do, it gets plus 1, plus 1 against Trample to the end of the turn. That doesn't mean you can do it just once per battle step. You can do it as many times if you want. If you have, let's just say, four energy and you attack, you could pay all four energy so it gets plus four, plus four. 
there's no limit to how many times you can pay it during the battle step. So this could be your one condition as well. Super super broken card. And since it when it comes out, uh, two energy and it's a three two by itself. Like it's just really broken. Now for our artifacts, I'm gonna show you some cards that we're gonna be needed in this deck because this deck is still not complete. Uh, first we got three Donable Tower. I'm getting a fourth one pretty soon. Uh, but for now, three has actually been really consistent, but you do want that uh, fourth copy of a Dynable Tower. Um, the effect is it's a three drop. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, you get two energy. And then the bottom effect says, pay five energy and tap it. And it deals three damage to target creature or player. <clears throat> Normally, you want to target the player, at least in my opinion. Because when you target the player, it goes down three life, especially with the amount of uh, how high your creature's attack goes. That 3 damage can help you just finish off the game just like that. And you could do it to the creature as well. We have like a really annoying flyer that's just like that you just can't get around. You can just use this card to destroy it if its toughness is 3 or less. So, really, really good. Um, you're gonna wanna get a third, a fourth copy. I'm getting a fourth copy really soon. And then for the last of our artifacts, we run 3 Fabrication Module. Really broken. This is like a duo for this card, especially. It's like really really good so uh fabrication module whenever you get one or more energy you put a plus one plus one counter on your creature a on a creature you control and that stays forever and the bottom effect is uh for four colorless or four of any color and tap it you get energy usually you don't want to use this effect unless you have a really really dead hand because really your mana is used for bringing out those creatures and using the pump up spells as fast as you can so you really don't want to use the bottom effect unless Either you know you're going to win and you're just doing it for fun, or you really need energy. Now we're going to go to our instance. We have a bunch of one drop instants. Really, really good in this deck. So first off, we run four built to smash. Really broken card. What it is, is it is a one drop for a red. And it says target creature gets plus three, plus three to the end of the turn. If it's an artifact creature, it gains trap to the end of the turn. So the small combo I was talking about with Architect of the Untamed. So... Um, it is a colorless beast artifact creature, a 6-6 six, six, if you pay the 8. So you wait a turn, it doesn't have summoning sickness anymore, you put this on here, it has trample, it's a 9-9 nine, nine with trample, so you could just like honestly either just deal 9 and if not you're probably going to deal 5 or 6 even if they block it. So really really uh, cool combo you could do with it, obviously not the most uh, optimal combo but Sometimes it's needed, and a 9-9 on the field with Trample, that's pretty broken. So, uh, for the next of our instance, we run 3 Rush of Adrenaline. I feel like 4 would be a little too cloggy, even though we do we do run a lot of Pumpo spells, so you don't need that 4 Rush of Adrenaline. So what it is, it's a 1 drop, and it says target creature gets plus 2, plus 1, it gains Trample to the end of the turn, gets more Pump Up spell. And then we got next... For the last of our reds and the last of our instance, three borrowed hostility. So with this card, it's a one drop and it has escalate, meaning that um, you could pay three of any tap three of any color, and then you can use both effects. But if you don't, you only get to use one effect. But you really don't want to use the escalate effect because you're basically paying four for a plus three plus zero on first strike when, in all honesty, you you only really want the plus three plus zero. Maybe sometimes first strike, but usually I use the plus three plus zero, so just more pump up is amazing. Now for the sorceries, uh, for the greens, we're gonna start off this time. For larger than life, super super broken card. I love this thing. Definitely gonna be going into my effect deck for sure. Really really good card. So what it is is a two drop, one green and one of any color. Target creature gets plus four plus four and gains trample to the end of the turn. The only downside is the sorcery, but either way, super super broken card. Helps me a lot and games really quickly. You know, plus four plus four, like that's just a lot of plus uh, plus one counters. Plus, if you put on Lanta's Cub, you're just going you're going like ham with the amount of attack that you're gonna be having on specific creatures. Really really good. And then for the last of our green sorceries, which is one of my favorite cards in the deck, is a tune with Aether. This card is super, super broken. I love this card to death. So what it is, it's a one-drop sorcery. And what it says is, you search your library for a basic land card. Put it into your hand, and I shuffle your library, and you get two energy. So the two energy is like like, like instant um, Lanta's Cup pay effect. It can help you use Dynamo Tower's effect. Like There's so many things that you can do. It's super super broken. 
if it was an instant, it would be there would be so many more combos you can do, but it's a sorcery, but you get a land into your hand and you get two energy, this is a win-win situation for you. Really, really good. And this can also help you keep one well, one card hands. I mean one land hands. So if you have like a green and this, and the rest are just creatures or instants, you could actually keep it because you could just be like, okay, uh, put a forest, tap this, add a red, and then you pass the turn, you have two, because most of the cards in this deck is two drops. So you really don't have any worry. Honestly, obviously you don't want to keep a one card, uh, one land hand, but sometimes if you mulligan down to five and you only have a one land hand and you have this card, and hopefully that land is a green, then you definitely have to keep it, and then you definitely could go off if you're having like mulligan issues. Now for our red sorceries, which are the last cards that aren't lands, we use, I can never pronounce this name, Cataritic, Cataric, or whatever it's called, Reunion. It's a two drop sorcery, so what it does is, as an additional cost, you're gonna have to discard two cards, sadly, but the bottom phase, draw three cards. Now you lose, like you use almost your whole hand almost every turn when you play this. Like once you're around like turn three or four, that's when you start like dro like dropping your hand onto the field, and you're gonna want to get draw power. So this definitely helps get that um, three new cards in hand. It really, it really helps to reach your uh, pump up spells that are needed. <clears throat> and now for our lands, so <clears throat> we still don't have the aether hubs. I'm, I'll tell you what cards you can switch out for them, but uh, we're gonna start off with the dual lands, three game trail. Uh, pretty simple, you know, it's a dual land. You definitely want to run dual lands in almost any deck you you build a magic, unless it's a monocolor deck. So, because it makes it so much cons so much more consistent. So, what it is is it can enter the battlefield tapped. It enters the battlefield tapped unless you reveal a mountain or forest. So it says you may. So like you don't always have to like reveal. Um, what's it called? You don't always have to reveal. A land from your hand to put it into the battlefield. Sometimes you could just bluff, like showing that you're like you don't have a land in your hand. You just put it into the battlefield tapped, but you actually do. So it's just about like my games. This card can help you with. Now we go to the basics. So we run, so we run um six mountains and five forests. So for the aether hubs, uh, you can either do this. You can either take out two of each, um two of each basic. So two red, two green for the aether hubs. Or you could take out the last of the cards we run in the deck for Evolving Wilds because that's going to be rotating out soon. So you can either take out all the Evolving Wilds for the Aether Hubs or take out um, two of each basics. And I'm planning to, um, I'm going more towards switching out the Evolving Wilds because they're going to rotate out soon. But for now, I'm just going to take out the two basics since Evolving Wilds is still in the game. And that's basically it, guys, for the deck profile. This is our my budget. Uh, red green energy really really consistent really hope you guys try it out um once again thank you so much t1 listener for allowing me to be on your channel really appreciate it if you want any like uh uh additional help on your channel or shout outs or anything i'm a small youtuber really small but i'm definitely willing to help you out because you've helped me out so much throughout my youtube um youtube career if you want to call it that so thank you guys so much for watching of course First, like, comment, and subscribe to T1 Clisner of amazing, amazing um YouTuber. He does melee and um MTG videos, and also subscribe to me. Like, comment, subscribe my videos, which I do Super Smash Bros. 4, melee, uh, MTG, Car 5 Vanguard, and Let's Play videos. Thank you guys.